Hello and welcome to the Shenzhen Bay Gymnasium. This is in the wonderful southern Chinese city of Shenzhen, the venue for the HSBC BWF China Masters 2023. The first time it's being held here after taking over from Fuzhou. And this is the final tournament in which players can garner points in order to qualify for that trophy there. That's the World Tour Finals also happening in China in just a few weeks' time. We are into the quarterfinal stage here, and this is the order of play in session one on court one. We have got a fantastic lineup for you. Women's singles, Wang Jiyi, she who beat the uh, top seed, Ansa Young, yesterday. We'll be playing uh, Nozomi Okuhara. Another one with a bit of a giant killing streak to a name. That is going to be a fantastic affair. And then into mixed doubles, Feng Yangche and Wang Dongping, the third seeds, massively popular here. Uh, they'll be taking on the seventh seeds, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na En of Korea. Our first men's singles match, Zhao Jinpeng, more Chinese representation here against Lim Chun Yi. What a result he had yesterday. The Chinese Taipei Shuttler against the second seed, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. And then into mixed doubles, Chen Xing and Chen Fanghui of China will take on the world champions from Korea. They're fourth seeds here, Xiu Xiong Jie and Che Yu Jung. And then we've got mixed doubles. They are stars, big stars here. Chen Cheng Chen and Jai Fan, the top seeds from China. They'll have massive home support for this one. They'll play the French pairing of Margot Lambert and Anne Tran. Well, the second session does start at uh, 5 p.m. local time and still plenty of Chinese representation to keep the fans happy. Chen Yufeng, Herbing Chow, an all-Chinese affair there in the women's singles. And, of course, can't miss out the Olympic gold medalists in the men's doubles, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin. We've also got Sakuk Saraj, Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty in action. Those two men's doubles matches look very intriguing indeed. So as always, lots to look forward to here. But our first match here is the women's singles. And that quarterfinal lineup with those semi-final places up for grabs. Wang Jiyi is taking on Nozomi Okuhara. First up, the winner of that match takes on Zhang Yiman or Han Yue and the other all Chinese quarterfinal in that part of the draw. So we're just awaiting the players then to make their way towards the court here, our very first match, which uh, promises to be extremely interesting given the circumstances into how both these players got here. Both of them creating upsets. Court one yesterday, the first few matches of the day were upsets. Very notice notable ones as well. And we'll tell you about those results very shortly when you see on screen what they did. First meeting, perhaps surprisingly, between these two. Now, yesterday, we saw a lot less uh, drifty conditions than perhaps the day before, which you can see it does change from day to day, as we've heard, it also can change from hour to hour. So, uh, this warm up session can be quite useful as well, just to gauge things, but of course, nothing compared to the actual match scenario. So, Wang Zi is uh, 23, 171 centimeters tall from. Kubei. She's currently 12, though she has been a top 10 player. That was in the uh, 31st of January this year. She was sixth in the world. In the Asia Championships last year, 
Well, she was the Asian champion. Those are results, Tai Po, but look at that. Top seed, Ansa Young. She beat her in just 47 minutes. That's the earliest exit An has had in about a year and a half. Since then, she's made something like 16 finals and three or four semi-finals. So that was quite the achievement. Nozomi Okuhara is 28, 156 centimeters tall. She is currently 38th in the world, but that's been belied by the fact that she's had uh, some injury issues this year with her leg. And she's a former world number one, achieved in October of 2019. Su and she, she actually took uh, almost 70 minutes to beat, but look at that, she beat the inform Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, the 17th from Indonesia. That was quite the result as well, given that Tunjung had won last week at the Kumamoto Masters. She won that in 62 minutes. Well, we are talking about a former bronze medalist at the Rio Games and a former world champion in 2017. She also got a silver in 2019. Ready to play. World junior champion as well back in the day. And Nozomi Okuhara has to her name five HSBC BWF World Tour titles. The most recent one was actually quite some time ago. Fabio Beto from Italy is our service chair. It's our line, it's our umpire, excuse me. Manfred Shum of Hong Kong, China is our service chair. chair. The Okuhara's most recent titles, all England in 2021, and the Denmark Open in 2020. As for Wang Jiyi, she's uh, won three titles to her name, but they've all been a long time ago in 2019. US Open, Indonesia Masters, and the Dutch Open. This year, though, she did finish runner-up runner at the Arctic Open very recently, losing to Han Yue in the final. Could be a good moment for one of these two. Get through to the semis, maybe even a shot at the final. But what a superb display yesterday from both of them. Okuhara, of course, just will be just a little concerned about Ladies and gentlemen, maybe her injury. On my right, Wang Zhe China. And on my left, Nozomi Okuhara, Japan. Wang Zhe to serve. Love all. Play. So, here we go. Wang Tsui versus Nozomi Okuhara. In terms of rankings, it would be Wang Tsui, of course, who's the favourite here. She also beat one. world number one yesterday, no. who's been in outstanding form. Though, again, we must also add that Wang Tsui Young has. Uh, Just come back from an injury layoff. Two, no. Having missed the entire European leg after the Asian Games. About a month or so that she was off. She exited the semi final stage last weekend at the uh, Kumamoto Masters. Three unforced so errors. One, two, two from Nekuhara, one from Wang, all ready to get us going. Most auspicious of starts for either player. One. Remind again that uh, Nozomi Okuhara has not had over. Two, three. a very good year coming into this. Seven wins in 20 matches. She hasn't got to. Any quarterfinals apart from the Indonesia Masters, that's the Super 100. Play that very late. Wang Ziyi. So 
coming up most errors so Three. far. Oh. Yeah, apart from that quarterfinal in the Super 100, Okuhara has not gone this far in any tournament above a Super 100. So this is by far her best performance of the year. As I mentioned, she's had injury issues that ruled her out for about three or so months. She had to retire as soon as she came back against Yo Chia Min at the Indonesia Open. First round, but just within minutes of starting. Four minutes was on the clock, and then she had to retire, unfortunately. So another one from Forstera. So after that, then she had a four, three. Another break about just over a month. Thank you. Japan Open. And a month after that, she was at the World Champs. Well, actually, she did all right. She, again, outside of a major or a Super 100, she hasn't reached quarterfinals. She lost her. That's so young in the quarters, taking a game off her. She's very impressive. She's shown flashes. That was good attack, wasn't it? From Okuhara. Service over. 4 oh. Over five, four. Well, we, we did talk about the first few points to be the ones that are played out as the players perhaps just get themselves accustomed to proceedings. There has been a litany of errors Six, at the moment. Four. She's just having a little go at herself. Okurara. Yeah, they will take care of it. It will be announced. Like. Oh. Okuara did get to the uh, previous final of this tournament, as I mentioned, it used Five, to be known as the six. Fuzhou China Open. 2019 and in 2018 in fact she got to the finals dearly love to make it a hat trick since we haven't had it for the last few years Try to pin her into that corner for now Very quick. And she got herself sort of stuck up by the net there, Okuhara. Service over. She put Seven, a little too much five. Yes. on this. Yeah, it was perfect height and easy finish there. I want to eat. The, perhaps the Eight, well, sort of five. call, but the execution, not so much. Once a year, took part in this tournament in 2017 and was eliminated in the opening round. So this is by far her best performance here. In terms of first or second round exits, we said there's Nine, been a lot five. for Nozomi Okuhara all year. And twice as she made quarterfinals, neither one of them was in the actual uh, 
the World Tour 300 or above. But he has had... Oh. One first Ten. round exit, that was at the Swiss Five. Open. Six second round exits. Plenty of quarterfinals and semifinals. Back. The lead is now looking quite good. Desperate times there. Okuhara just gets that over just about. Service over. 6 10. So at the uh, break here in the first game, Wang Ziyi just looks sharp. And he's winning 11-6, but it's littered with errors, particularly from Okuhara. And at the moment, they'll be very wary of that. Well, in terms of quarterfinals, Wang Ziyi has played in 15 of them, sorry, won 15 of them and lost 12. She's only won one of the last eight. And actually, that one came after seven losses in quarterfinals 12, six. in a row. Yeah, she's actually had a very poor run of it recently. Of the last ten quarterfinals, she's only won two of them. Which means she had a very good run of quarterfinals up seven, till... 12. 2019. And since then, as I said, she, the only two that she's got through are the Indonesia Masters in 2019 and the Arctic Open just a short while ago. It's over. 37. that in just out well oh. it's a great Seven shot over. just Eight. out though 13. I think yeah, there was no way Okuhara was getting to that anyway yeah, that'd been in just a couple of centimeters to the right millimeters maybe Starting to really pull away now, isn't she? Six point lead. So it's over 14 8. Actually, she's really finally turning that corner with the quarter final jinx. really has to do something. That's a wonderful... Oh, it's out. Oh, that looked so good. 
15, 8. Sorry. Yeah, you want a challenge. So just realize now, so I accept this challenge. Yes, you well, I, challenges, I thought she thought that she'd out. got it. <laughs> it took a long time. She was walking away. She just realized. And the umpire has uh, allowed that. It was a long time since he gave the decision that it was one to use point. But she has challenged. I thought I was in. Yeah, it's, it was exactly what I thought. I was uh, very surprised when that was given out. Service over. 9-14. It was an excellent shot from her. Play. Leading by five. Oh, she was very cramped for space there, Wang Ti. She did well to improvise. This time, nice seven point lead here. That Monty has Okuhara is in some trouble here, just has not been able to stamp authority on this at all. Did say that maybe stamina is going to be a problem, maybe fitness. And, uh, does perhaps look that way at the moment. This is the uh, biggest lead now at eight points. Seventeen. In uh, what some six four since the break. She will gladly take that right now. That's more like it. We have not seen enough of that, have we, from her? Eleven. 17. It's only the second time in this game that she's taken consecutive points. She just needs a lot more of that, doesn't she? One, I think she'd be feeling she ought to be making there, Okuhara. 18, 11. Did everything right until the last second there, the execution of it. Into playing shots like that. It's good positioning there for Monty. Service over, 19, 12. 
And she's only a couple of points away from wrapping up this first game. Talk about uh, Monty's record in quarterfinals is not good overall, especially in recent times. What about her opponent? Doesn't quite make it over. 30 silver, 13-19. Okuhara has played uh, in 77 quarterfinals. She's won 42 of them, so not that many over 50%. She actually lost her last three. The last quarterfinal she won was at the Hilo Open just about a year ago. And she beat Sue and Chi. But by the way, that was her only win. Game point, 13. In the last nine. So she too has had very poor luck in quarterfinals. That goes back to the Olympics. And she lost to Herbing Zhao. So we did a comparison of uh, 10, 10 last 10 quarterfinals for each. They both have only won two of their last 10. So both have poor records in recent times in quarterfinals. So, uh, going to even point to the fact she's won her most recent quarterfinal, at least. Seven game points here to save for Okuhara. Game. Which she's unable to do at the first time of asking. First game and won by Wang Zhe It is a very 21, polished, 30. straightforward performance from Wang Zhe in this opening game. Second game, level. Play. So we're going to the second game here with uh, Okuhara trailing. Uh, beaten pretty convincingly by Wang Ziyi in the opening game. Ah! That's a more positive start, isn't it? For over, Okuhara. One love. That's what she needs. She's got to try and take the attack to her opponent. Be more positive. Got to cut out those errors as well. Easier said than done. And that is the mission at hand for her. Oh. 
Nicely done by Wang Ziyi. Time is over. One. Oh. Now let's have a look at the records of these two, not just in quarterfinals, but against opponents from the country. It just gives you an idea how they've played overall. Again, placement much better from Okuhara. She's played a 20 quarterfinals against Chinese opponents. Uh, she's won to seven of them. And she's lost the last six. The last Chinese opponent she beat in a quarterfinals, actually at this very tournament. 2-1. Then known as a Fuzhou China Open. And she won that against Her Bing Jiao. She did well number one then. She's lost her next six in a row. So perhaps does not bode well. 3-1. And uh, overall in her career against Chinese opponents, she has actually got a winning record. 33 wins, 31 losses, 64 matches. So as I said, she has lost the last seven matches against Chinese opponents. The so last time she beat a Chinese two, opponent was Nozomi Okuhara. Sorry, was Han Yue, excuse me, at the All England last year. One win. Three oh. For one win in her last 12. She's only beaten one Chinese opponent in the last 12 matches. So it is clearly something that she's finding difficulty with. This Chinese plays a that's incredible. That's a fantastic shot from Okuhara. Let's just compare that with uh, Wang Ziyi in quarterfinals against Japanese players. She's played Japanese players six times in quarterfinals. She's won three, lost three. She lost. She's lost the last two though against Akane Yamaguchi. Five, the last time she three. beat a Japanese opponent was Yamaguchi at the Indonesia Open last year, about a year and a half ago. Overall, in her career against uh, Japanese opponents, Wang Ziyi has played them 26 times, has won 17 of them, so that's pretty good. And she's won her last five against Japanese opponents, all against Saina Kawakami and Sakatsuki Madeira. The last time she lost was against Akari Gucci at the All England quarterfinal this year. Well, that's what we were saying, that these are the sort of shots, over. mistakes Four, that she needs to try and five. cut out. Oh. Yep, now, five, good points four. there for Looking a bit Six, uh, perplexed five. by things, a bit nonplussed. Thank you. Play.
Service over, 6 all. Tighter feel to this second game. Good. Service over, seven, all. Thank you. At least matching each other for the moment here in game two. Seven, all. When we look back at uh, game one, it was actually it just started to surge away from about 5-4 uh, when uh, she was just leading by one there, one so slightly better. front here leading by two now is she gonna just continue this press on with this use this as a platform to build something on top of the net not going over now onto you she's got to focus here oh, Mahara's going to start building a lead. It's going to be tough to overcome. Three points right now, the cushion is. A very good period here for Okuhara. 11 7 up in game two, but it's Wang Ti's won the first game. Can she keep this going, Nozomi Okuhara? Twelve, 
seven. Nice to have despairing dive here. This is starting to look quite difficult here for Wang Jiayi in the second. Much better from Okuhara. Thank you. Thank you. Twelve seven. Makes it over. Everything's going her way at the 13, moment. Seven. Oh, this leads up to six. Crowd has gone quiet. <laughs> Let's see if she can embark on a run of her own here. Wang Ti. Excellent from uh, Okuhara. Six points in a row. Being challenged. Well, I'm not so sure how convincing that one is. Oh, it is in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. They all count. Service over. 14 8. Play. Chipping away little by little here. Nine fourteen. Uh, on to <laughs> you. <laughs> Okuhara does not want to let this initiative go. She's got to keep on it in the zone. Oh. Yeah, she's left it a bit late. <laughs> Very clear. 10, 14. <laughs> so over, 15, 10. Just get that past her. These are really good points here for Wang Ti. To try 11, and narrow that lead. 15. She's doing a good job of it. Play. Gotta finish that off, and she does. Okuhara. Service over, 16, 11.
Bernstein. Now she's decided to play that. Oh, lovely pick up there from Monsi. That's going to be out though, isn't it? She challenging. Court, court to be wiped. Okay. Oh, challenge. You want the challenge? Okay. One Z challenges called out. Uh, challenging again. I'm not so sure that did the umpire. He didn't seem too sure, but let's see what happens here. She did take a long, hard look at that. Yeah. Challenge very, very unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Well, Okuhara is in an excellent position here. She leads by six. And unless Monty does something very quickly, we are heading into a third. Play. That's the longest rally yet. 34 shots, so really not that long. Four. Well, it would appear that both players have preferred to be AG on that side. 11. The far side. They feel a lot more comfortable. Now, if it is indeed where the drift has been playing on this near side, it means that they're happier playing into it. They can play right through their shots. Nineteen, eleven. This is a really big turnaround, isn't it? And of course, if we go into a third, it means both these players will. 20 flip ends. game point, 11. Nine game points here for Okuhara. <laughs> it's going to be out. Game. And very nicely done by Nozomi Okuhara. She'll be really pleased Second with. Game. How she's turned it around. Okuhara, it's one all here 11, in this one match game, between Monty and Nozomi Okuhara. そうそう、1ゲーム目さ、そこで捕まっててさ。なんかそれでそれ引っ張る時に浮かないようにしなきゃダメ。要は自分が仕掛けるときにさ、あの球がちょっと浮いちゃうとワンジャンプで打たれる
And it has been quite one-sided in either game, hasn't it? Layers, we need to move up any different. Thank you. Like. Well, you're just showing the umpire for the first time here today, pushing the players to move things along. Now, if you weren't uh, watching yesterday, oh, net play. Just a bit of uh, hesitation there. Uh, Two, just um, one. If you weren't watching yesterday. It was a viral moment, I think you might want to call it. Anders Antonsen and Oda Naroka. Uh, hugely, uh, a marathon match, that one. Three, one. Oh, yeah, I think something about an hour and 50 minutes, something like that. And Antonsen made a point about it on the umpire's mic about how long things were taking with his opponent. If you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out on social media. But certainly, Four, I've definitely put some tension in here to tell you. So he just wanted things to be kept moving along. Four. I didn't think that had actually gone in. Clips the line. Otherwise, Okawara would be 5 1 up. Three, four. Now, we're starting to see these uh, unforced errors littering Okawara's game at the start of this. Second game, a third game. Okuhara, that is a shot she should be making. Five, four. And she knows it very well. <laughs> that is going to annoy her. And she's just having a chat to herself. crowd it's um a little nervy i think just because of the situation at the moment it's going to be a chinese player in each of the five matches we've got here in one. there you go that's a bit better sprawl on the ground here seven four
这个就是连贯，知道吗？推完以后抓哪里清楚。Nozomi-san, Nozomi-san, shut the door, shut the door. Seven, four. One. The crowd like it. Better for Mati. Now the lead is up to four. Eight, four. Starting to really assert herself. Nozomi-san, return the shuttle properly. Blake. Being uh, reprimanded there, Nozomi Okuhara for not returning the shuttle properly. Just keeping an eye on things, aren't they here? <laughs> well, it, this is very reminiscent of the game, first game, where I remember it was Wangzi on that far end and Okuhara here on the near end, so it's identical at the moment. Lost away, I've got to say, Okuhara. Ten, four. What, you, what has happened here? Because she... You could argue it's the ends again. That just not gone away. Four up in the third game. Now, we are back to the situation where Okuhara is on the end that she seemingly preferred because she had that comprehensive 21-11 win in Game 2. Just like Wang Ziyi had that comprehensive win in Game 1 on that end, the problem for Okuhara is she's facing a seven-point deficit. That is a really good lead to have, given the conditions. Better from Okuhara. Service over. Five, twelve.
well beyond the reach. Very, very nicely done. All right. Two. 13, oh, no way she could uh, make it to that one. Thank you. Point there, it's not really helping Okuhara's cause. <laughs> Top fist, and she's looking a little happier now. Stop uh, any kind of recovery shoots from growing. Yeah. just wants to make sure there's a huge spot that's taken care of. Thank you. Fourteen six. 14 6 8 points in it now. Once in a really good position. <laughs> oh, she's really turned this round spectacularly. Six. Working out for Wang Ziyi. 16, 6. And that was such a good run earlier. She had a point, a run, 11 point run that got her to 12, 4. Service over, 7, 16. Well, unless something's done soon, this could well be over. Service over seventeen seven. Ten points now. The writing looks on the wall, I'm afraid, for Nozobi Okuhara.
18-8. Ten points again. That deficit. Okuhara clinging on by her fingertips here. Working out for her right now. The one thing is nearly there. 19 8. Again, just beyond her. Excellent shot from Wonzi. Wonzi. 20 match points. And we've got match points here. Eight. way to end proceedings and she breaks her jinx Wang Ziyi only the third quarter final she's made in the last uh, three and a bit years second since the Arctic Open but for Nozomi Okuhara the fairy tale return has to come to an end and I'm afraid she continues a poor run against Chinese, Chinese players. That's eight defeats in a row 21, 13, against 11, Chinese 21, players dating back 21, to eight. June of 2022. And six, seven quarterfinals now against Chinese players. That takes back to about 2020. So an excellent run for Wang Ziyi. Hoping to... Do well here. By the way, Okuhara has been to the last two finals, 2018 and 2019. She won't be able to make a hat trick of that this time around. Great work from Wang Ziyi. For the home fans. Long to year of China beats Japan's Nozomi Okuhara 21 13, 11 21, 21 8. She's done it in exactly one hour.